Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates Today update we will talk about and share with you a latest news about Anal migrants Royal Navy set to take over English Channel operations This move could free up the Home Office to focus on reforms to the asylum system, a government source said. However, Defense Select Committee Chairman Tobias Elwood criticized the plans as rushed by the government and a massive distraction for the Navy. The number of people who crossed last year was treble that of 2020. Ministry of Defense, MOD. Sources told the BBC that discussions about the armed forces working with the Home Office and UK Border Force had been taking place for several weeks. They said no decisions had been made over how the Royal Navy or other services would be involved, and there was no indication it would involve pushing migrant boats back to France. A source added that the details of the plans for how the military could coordinate operations were still to be worked out. While another said there was trepidation within the mod about getting involved in such a complex issue. Figures compiled by the BBC show at least 28,431 migrants made the journey in small boats in 2021 up from 8,417 people the year before, despite huge UK investment in France to prevent crossings. On 24 November at least 27 people died after their boat sank in the largest single loss of life in the channel since records began in 2014. Last week, the Home Office said more than 270 people had crossed in 10 small boats on Thursday. The plans, first reported in The Times, could see Prime Minister Boris Johnson give the Navy authority over government vessels in the channel. Asked about the move on BBC Radio 4's Today program. Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi said it would help avoid a situation where, border force or other vessels in the channel are being coordinated separately. For a Prime Minister who promised his Brexit deal would see the UK take back control of its borders. The failure to stop record numbers of asylum seekers arriving on the Kent coast in small boats is a political embarrassment. However, Putting a rear admiral in charge of operations in the channel is unlikely to make much difference. The Royal Navy may be able to provide better intelligence on where inflatables and dinghies are expected to make landfall. But the great majority of those coming to seek sanctuary in Britain are already intercepted before they reach the coast. Time. Ms. Patel said her plans would create a faster and fairer system that would better support the most vulnerable, and the government would crack down on people smugglers exploiting those trying to reach the UK. The Labour Party has criticised the plans for lacking compassion and being ineffective at discouraging crossings. Human rights lawyers warned they would be unlawful because they ignore Britain's international obligations. In December, Four Iranian men who crossed in small boats had their convictions for immigration offences quashed by the Court of Appeal, which concluded it had not been proven they intended to enter the UK illegally.